Hi friends! I uploaded a video about the process of making a portable drill and today we will try to finish what we started. By the way, the link to the first part is in the description. I advise you to study it in order to understand what it is about. Honestly to say, at the time of the publication of the first part the device was already fully assembled. But during this week I managed to completely remake it as some moments in it didn't suit me. As you remember, the PWM controller was used to adjust the engine speed, but the regulator was excluded for several reasons. First, at low turns the torque was fell, because this type of regulator doesn't have the function of maintaining power, but usually we need to drill textilite boards at high speeds, the same when cutting. In addition, the controller has an efficiency of 85 to 90 percent, so 10 to 15 percent is wasted. For portable device, it's quite essential. Without the regulator, all the useful power will go to the engine. After removing the controller board, I got an additional space in the box. First, I decided to insert the battery charge indicator there. Then I changed my mind and put a conventional voltmeter that will show the voltage on the battery. About launching, you don't even imagine how many switching options I've considered, including touch and push button with relay switching. As a result, laziness has gotten up and I put the usual switch, simple and reliable. The box is a tube from the siphon. At first the battery didn't fit to it, so the tube was softened by heating and the battery was inserted by pressing. Pack isn't looking very nice, but functional. A voltmeter and a charging socket are installed at back. The voltmeter is turned on when the motor starts. On the box there are made ventilation holes, but without fanaticism, so that inside didn't get any debris. The engine as said at the beginning is 18 volt and even under heavy loads it doesn't get very hot. To charge the device use the stabilizer board based on the chip 2596. First I applied 14 volts to the input, set the maximum charging current about 1.2 ampere. The charging stops at 12.6 volts. Now the whole process can be said to be automated. The method of charging, a stable current, a stable voltage. Homemade boards can be good, but their appearance can't always be presentable. Do you want homemade PCB look like a factory one? Then order the printed circuit boards from our partner GLCPCB. Very high factory quality is guaranteed at the lowest prices, starting from $2 for 10 pieces. There is free shipping on the first order. Boards are made in any quantity in the shortest terms. The link to the GLCPCB website will be found in the description. The power adapter is any one that can provide output voltage from 14 to 28 volts and current 1 ampere or more. You can use both pulse power supplies or supply which include mains iron transformer. I want to point to one thing that Villigent subscribers noticed. Because of the bronze bushing instead of the ball bearing, such motors really don't like the lateral overloads that are formed during the cutting. So if possible select the motor with the ball bearings. Now you can enjoy the complete assembly process of this unit. And in the end of course we will test it.
Well, let's look what the device is capable of. The video with the test specially wasn't accelerated. For drilling were used both ordinary drills and drills made of super hard material, tungsten carbide. I am pleased with the result, very high power of engine gives a lot of advantages comparing with small homemade drills, which spend a lot of time for drilling one hole. With this instrument it takes less than a second. Cutting also pleased, the engine knows everything that is on its way and even the downturn isn't observed, I think it is understandable by the sound. I consider the design is successful, the choice of high current batteries is justified. Conventional ones wouldn't be able to cope exactly. By the way, at the very beginning I wanted to use lithium polymer batteries from models, but at the end I had only two batteries of suitable sizes. Despite obvious advantages of the unit, there is one drawback which is linked with the presence of permanent magnets in the electric motor. During the cutting of iron, all metal dust sticks to the body of the drill. It's very good that I didn't make the ventilation holes in the front. It's possible to take heat insulators for water pipes and simply to put on the front part where the engine is located. Having weakened the magnetic field, the shavings will no longer stick. Well friends, I hope you liked this video. If so, rate it and share it with your friends in social web. Also, you can subscribe to our group on Facebook. Links to all the materials for assembling the same drill and links to ready units will be found in the description. Now I say goodbye until new meetings with you was Kaisan TV.